<clears throat> Whoa, hey there, Twisted Sage here. We got 44 miles. Uh, trip meter. Uh, 154, 555 miles total on the engine. Leave the good old Jesus is somewhere around five degrees. Aries. <clears throat> and the moon is 29 degrees Capricorn. Feeling a bit motherfucking frustrated. Good day overall. Good day overall. Um, I just, uh, I guess I'm only, I'm built a certain way. And I felt like I've dealt with running against the wind for long enough. Why does getting out of my truck have to be a uphill battle. Excuse me. For instance, I have to roll my window down to get out of here. I owe five grand on this piece of shit. It's a decent truck. So every time I get out of here, I have to roll my motherfucking window down. Whatever. But passenger side, pretty much worse. You pretty much can't get out from the inside and you almost can't get in from the... You almost can't get out from the inside and you almost can barely get in from the inside. Um... I just took the worst. And we in, in the industry, we call it a line. So line is like your path. You're going to travel, skiing or snowboarding. Um, I was literally crying and cussing just about every fucking thing. I lost... A hundred dollar pair of earphones and the two hundred and fifty dollar pair of goggles. Which I'll probably find the goggles. I don't know about the headphones. A little too drunk. I'll take that part of the equation on uh, my own shoulders. But I made it like a quarter of the way down and literally just started walking. Tree after tree was in my way. I was falling down. Like, literally stretched. Maybe more than a full football field, which is 300 yards. Knee deep. And my knees are like almost three feet tall. <laughs> For sure, almost two feet. So in in correlation to my frustrations, worldly frustrations, um, <laughs> the moon is conjunct Pluto. Which for me coincides in my sixth house, house of daily routines, habits. <sighs> mm. Supposed to be a good learning situation. Hmm. 
I don't know, man. <laughs> mm, I used to be able to turn the other fucking cheek. Mm. So I was at my home by, it's not too big a deal, but he said he'd be there, called me this morning, said you might need a gas can to run the generator. Told the fucking homeowner, which is the builder selling the house, said, yeah, Lee will be here tomorrow and I'll be there Sunday. I'll get a text from him that uh, Lee never showed up. Big deal, not big deal. For me, it's a big deal. Principle, integrity was the main deal. Small potatoes. Don't put me behind too much, but. <sighs> People are selfish. We only seem to do for others when it is beneficial to us. I. It's weird though. Very synchronistic that uh, odometer, whatever trip meter is 44 miles, mm, 0.7. <coughs> But the last three digits of the odometer are five, five, five. And the first stoplight I hit this morning. <clears throat> Someone's, excuse me. Come on, char chocolate almonds. Give me hiccups. I'd rather sneeze for an hour. Anyways. I don't wish anybody to be a Virgo. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, I just put a post on my Facebook and said, I sure wish the good Lord would. Tell me in plain fucking English, what the fuck am I doing here? Fucking tired of the conundrum of uh, rats' nests. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. And not knowing, let, just fucking let me know which fucking direction to point my motherfucking boat in and I will sail that bitch there. I'm so tired of making adjustments and all for nothing it feels. I mean, all right, I'm going to let it be. Shall see you soon. Start that out. <laughs> Fuck you, Pluto. Fuck you, Capricorn. Feel cheated. I ain't going to lie. Feel cheated.